Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel video. It's Trace TV. It's Trace TV. It's a what? Trace TV. Hey. Okay, so today we are back with another video and we're going to apply a lace front wig on my mom's hair. Well, head. On my mom's head. And yeah, the things you guys would be needing is a wig cap. A wig cap, a makeup brush, a foundation, a glue. I use this one, the Ghost Bond Platinum. Yeah. Then you will need alcohol. Got to be, oh, got to be a spray. You might need mousse at the end if the hair is curly. Right. You'll need a blow dryer. You'll need a brush, regular brush. And of course, oh no, no, I forgot. You'll need this, it's like, or scissors. Or scissors to cut the lace if, you're, if you didn't cut it. I already cut mine. But this is better than a scissors. It's like for the eyebrows. But you could use this too to cut the lace. And then last but not least, you'll need a wig. You'll need a wig. And this is the wig that I dyed for my mom. So yeah. I might post the video, but I'm not too sure yet because I didn't finish it. Because it was so long. I dyed this like three times. Three times. Anyway, let's get to the video. So first you guys are going to start by brushing the hair, pulling all them baby hairs in the back. Then after that, you're going to take the wig cap and put it on her head. Then after that, you're going to take the eyebrow razor and then put a hole where her ear is. Then when you're done doing the hole, you're going to pass her ears inside of the hole just like that in both sides now this is how your wig cap should look like after putting the hold where your ears are then you're going to take the cap to the blue spray and spray it where her hairline is when you're done you're going to take your hair dryer and then you're going to dry the wig cap when I'm drying the wig cap I like to use a paper or anything to hide the person's ears because it's really hot so you're going to do that until it gets dry So as you guys can see, I'm making sure that the wig cap is melted, so meaning it's very dry, so then I could cut it and um, shape it. So now I'm going to take the scissors and cut under her ears, so where the wig cap is but under, and I'm going to do that for both sides. When I'm done cutting both sides, I'm going to cut the middle of the makeup just like that. Then I'm going to take the eyebrow razor and cut the excess of the lace off. While you're cutting the lace, make sure that you guys cut it um, to the form of their hairline. But my mom personally wanted her hair, her baby hairs out, so I had to let, I had to let her baby hairs out. 
so one thing you guys are going to be needing is clip on and that's the thing that i forgot to tell you guys at the beginning of this video you guys are going to need it to um push back the hair so you guys could see if the wig and the wig cap are adjusted like are at the same height or level the way you guys want to use i don't know if this makes sense like but to me it does so yeah if it doesn't um adjust to the wig cap you guys could also cut the, some excess off of the wig cap until you guys reach the perfect amount that equalize to the wig So when you guys are done, you guys can just take out the wig and then apply the foundation to the wig cap. This is going to make it look natural. When you guys are done, you guys could take a piece of paper and put some alcohol on top and then rub it in front of where her hairline is. So this step helps the glue to stick for a long time. So when you guys are finished, you guys could take the glue and start doing little dots where her hairline is and where the wig cap is. So, just like that. So when you guys are done doing the little dots, you guys could um, blend the glue together. After blending the glue, you're going to take the blow dryer and blow dry the glue until it gets clear. When it gets clear, you can apply the wig. When you guys are applying the wig, make sure that you guys follow the hairline. So as you guys can see, I'm using the back of the brush to push down the lace of the wig into the glue so it could stick together and melt together. You guys can use anything like a comb or anything. So after that, you're going to take the blow dryer and dry the lace down. So as you guys can see now, I'm combing the hair that are stick so it could look natural.
So if there's some plates that are not well glued, you can go back with the glue and do the same process. Blow dry it and wait till it gets clear and then push down the lace. Just like this. So one thing that I like to do is put an elastic band where um, her edges are so it could melt the lace in front so it could last longer. What I like to do sometimes is um, go on top and pass some foundation on top of the lace. So I normally leave the elastic band for like 10 to 15 minutes depending on um, if it was already dry or not so as you guys can see I'm sectioning the hair in the middle part then after that I'm taking the mousse and applying it to the middle part I apply the mousse so it could give it a flat look After applying the mousse, I'm going to apply the hot comb where I applied the mousse. <laughs> Beauty hurts, right? After passing the hot comb, I like to put the last pump of mousse before tying the hair with a do-rag or with anything that you have. I use the do-rag. Then I let it sit for like 5 minutes. And this is the final look guys. I hope you guys understand my explanation of putting a lace front wig. <laughs> now I'm going to show you guys some pictures and videos of hair. If you guys are looking for a hairstylist for a lace front wig, you guys can hit me up there. <laughs> but for me, you guys can text me on Snapchat or Instagram. I'll leave it in my outro and in the comments down below. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And Happy New Year! Have a nice day, guys. Bye. Bye.